Ah, shit! What is this doing here? This is Jenny Mayer. Like many of the seven billion mortals on this earth, she lives as if she were immortal. Oh, God. Yeah. Jenny takes for granted most of the people in her life. Hi, Mom. Did you hear that I just called you? Yeah, I heard you called. What happened? I just wanted to know how you are. I haven't heard from you in a long time. I'm, I'm fine. I'm really good. I just have a lot of work to do. Are you coming this weekend? I would love to see you. I will make chocolate cake. Uh, no, I can't. I need to work. I'll... I'll call you on Saturday, okay? Okay. Darling, I miss you. Yeah, bye, Mom. Take care. Jenny eats the same food every day. Oh, shit. Repeats the same words. Oh, shit. And worries about the same things. Oh, oh God. Like the average human being, Jenny performs her chores at work as routines without real motivation. Jenny's life is a compilation of little actions she hasn't dared to do, either because she thinks it's not the proper attitude or because she believes she's not good enough and fears failing. She always ends up saying things to herself like Gosh, this guy comes here every day. Quite cute. Shit, I have the stain on my shirt. That won't make a good impression. Ever tried it? The water? Oh shit. Uh, no, not yet. Hey. I'm John. I'm Jenny. Shit, I'm a mess. I'm screwing it all up again. Actually, I'm really late. I'm sorry. I need to go. I'll see you here tomorrow. Okay? Oh, wait. Unfortunately, I won't be coming here tomorrow. Then see you on another day. Take care. Yes, like the average human being, she really thinks she is immortal. And that tomorrow will always be there for her. But one day, I have to prove her wrong. One day, I actually have to prove you all wrong. Yes, Jenny is dead, but you you are still alive. So, as one of the best friends that I really am for you, I strongly suggest you live each day as the last one you have. I mean, it's clear that one day will be your last. Right? So, just face it and live aware of it. Not with morbidity and sadness, but with joy and gratitude, because you are alive. Hmm, what would have happened if, for example, Jenny would have applied this simple suggestion? Hi, Mom. Did I wake you up? No, no, no. What a surprise. I'm so happy to hear you, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Really good. 
Uh, you know what? I'm calling because remember the book you used to read to me in kindergarten? The one with the butterflies and the beautiful pictures? I... The one that got lost when we moved to Germany, remember? Well, anyway, I went to a British bookstore yesterday and guess what? I found it again. Oh, you still remember? That's wonderful, darling. I'll go and bring it to you on Saturday, okay? I'll be here. I'll bake you a chocolate cake. Mmm, yummy. Bye-bye, see you on Saturday. Hey, little fellow, what are you doing here? Up you go. <laughs> Actually, life is not only about what you eat or do, but about how much you enjoy it. Gosh, this guy comes here every day. He's quite cute. Oh shit, I have a stain on my shirt. That will make a good impression. <laughs> have you tried it? The water? No, not yet. I'm John. I'm Jenny. And <laughs> maybe I should wash my hands in the water, right? Thank you for the good advice. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I was about to cool my feet there, but that's a good start though. Are you suggesting that no, I... No, 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 no. Come on, you will like it. Um, are you busy this evening? Yeah, quite a bit. Oh, but why? I thought maybe we could go for dinner. Thai? Well, I have to eat at some point, right? <laughs> yeah. We meet here on the bridge at 8. That's a good idea. Yes, you will always end up dying when your time has come. The real question is how you choose to use the time that you have left on Earth. How much fun are you willing to have? And what risks are you willing to take for it? Yes, that is completely up to you. As a good friend, I am there somewhere at your back. Yes, when things will not be going as you wish, you will be as usual desperate or having a petty breakdown, thinking, this is it. Turn to me and ask if this is so. I will tell you that you're wrong, that nothing really matters outside my touch. I will tell you to dust your boots and keep moving. I haven't touched you yet.
Gozado 